Live from your news leader, this is WTAJ News at 6 in high definition. We're continuing to follow this developing story out of Clearfield County after police accused two volunteer firefighters of starting a fire. One man involved in an April shooting at a Clearfield County VFW is facing multiple charges related to the incident. Police say that a young firefighter from a gated development outside of Dubois is one of the men that set a brush fire there. Alex Belzer is live with the response from the larger fire company, which is one of uh, part of those volunteer firefighting systems. Alex? Carolyn and John, the fire company president, just called me this afternoon saying he wants to get ahead of these allegations involving two firefighters. What seemed a little suspicious at the time, there was a fire um, that had that had been about two weeks prior, um, about uh, 200 yards from where this fire was. Because of that incident, Fire Chief John Hallowell says he called DCNR to investigate and that they found it was arson. In a non-traffic ticket filed Tuesday afternoon, police say 22-year-old Aaron Kolbacki of Treasure Lake set a brush fire at Harborview and Jolly Roger Roads, not far from the back gate of Treasure Lake on April 15th. The judge's office says a criminal complaint is pending in a second case, which the fire company says involves the former Treasure Lake chief. I did know uh, these firefighters personally, um, um, one of which I knew very well, and we kind of mentored him, um, Mr. Smith and myself, was, so we were very taken back. The individual charged was one of the uh, positions eliminated. He had been the chief of Treasure Lake. At a May 26 meeting, the company announced Treasure Lake and Sabula were merging to form North Point. The new North Point chief says the former Treasure Lake chief resigned from the company earlier this month when confronted with the suspension and that Kobaki was suspended. This is just very disturbing to all of us that, that someone could do this. We work so hard to protect our community. It's certainly an embarrassment to the entire fire department. Fire company leaders say they've been keeping the Treasure Lake line officers informed during the investigation. The township residents were not a risk. We were cooperating fully with DCNR, the Pennsylvania State Police, and the DA. We've been keeping our township manager completely apprised of everything as it becomes known to us. Firefighters say about an acre burned and no homes were damaged, but that firefighters are in danger on any call. This is absolutely one of the uh, things that as a firefighter you never want to experience. Again, charges are pending on the second man, and the judge has not yet signed off on them today. Now, by the way, the fire company president says that that merger is unrelated uh, to all of these charges. Live in Dubois, Alex Mills for WTAJ News. Thank you. And the Sandy Township Fire Department releasing this statement concerning the investigation saying, quote, we want to assure the citizens of Sandy Township that their fire department is strong and that we remain united in our commitment to provide the highest level of fire and rescue protection to the citizens, visitors and mutual aid communities served by the dedicated men and women of the Sandy Township Volunteer Fire Company. New tonight at 6, police are charging 55-year-old Robert Hansen with criminal attempt to commit murder after a shooting that happened back in April at the Osceola Mills VFW. April 1st, police were called out to that VFW post in Clearfield County and were told now that Hansen was at the bar with a woman before the shooting incident and told her he was going to Jeff Swanson because he had been ripped, he had ripped him off. Well, police say the woman then went home and warned Swanson to stay away from Hanson because he was going to shoot him. This was all in the criminal complaint. He was at a different bar in the area. Swanson later went to the VFW post and told Hanson to come outside. Police say a struggle began over the gun. Both men were shot and flown to UPMC Altoona. Hanson is now behind bars in the Clearfield County Jail. Well, we told you last week about some plans to cut bus service to uh, parts of Center County. CATA announced it was going to make significant service cuts to the XB and XG routes between Belfont and State College because of flat funding from the Belfont Borough. County commissioners say today there are ongoing conversations that the issue will be resolved without any county funding, instead uh, funded through a private donor. County officials say it's important to keep the services running. We do have a component. We have a we have a dog in that one, so we, we monitor that closely and make sure that uh, uh, that those uh, those services are still prevailed because uh, it's important, particularly when you figure out the, the other lines in, in downtown Belfont into the courthouse. So. Further comment is expected in the coming days. 
After months of searching, the Center Region Senior Center has a new home. County officials is announcing today the center will move into the Nittany Mall. They're hoping the bigger space will attract more seniors to join. The center will move from its previous location downtown to the mall coming up September 1st. They'll be first in a temporary storefront for three or four months while final renovations take place at their permanent location just a few doors down. We're really excited about it. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for us and the seniors. Um, we hope to rebrand the center a little bit, so we're looking to develop a new name that more clearly explains what we do. Um, you know, it is there for meals, but we do health and wellness programs, we do arts and crafts programs, um, lifelong learning programs. The center currently serves anywhere from 30 to 75 seniors per day. All right. Moving on in budget news, lawmakers have failed to announce any meaningful progress on budget negotiations. Now, Governor Wolf told WTAJ News today he believes they are making progress, but you can't see that in any action from Democrats or Republicans. Republican leaders are blasting Wolf for failing to pass the budget they proposed, a budget that not one Democrat voted for. Wolf explained again why he won't sign it. It doesn't add up. Uh, the math doesn't work, it doesn't invest in education, it doesn't have a severance tax, it doesn't have property tax relief, and I, I, I don't think my job uh, as governor, I don't think I was elected by the people of Pennsylvania to, to actually roll over and, and say, hey, okay, let's keep doing the same thing we've been doing, it hasn't taken us to a good place. Coming up tonight at 11, Governor Wolf explains why he thinks the average Pennsylvanian should be okay with the budget delay. A ruling from the state's Office of Open Records is throwing another twist into the drama between top Senate County leaders. The Office of Open Records is ordering the county to release expenditure records of public funds from the Senate County DA's office. Between the period of January 1st through June 12th, 2015, county officials have 30 days to respond. Still ahead, one of the stars of TLC's Breaking Amish is now behind bars in Jefferson County. We'll tell you what charges she's facing. And Oscar Mayer's world-famous Wienermobile took a pit stop right here in our region today. Where it stopped and why, ahead. If you have a news story, share it with us on WeAreCentralPA.com. WTAJ, your news leader, is telling your story. It's Credit Amnesty Week at Team Chevrolet Buick GMC in Huntington. We're overstocked, so we've partnered with the most aggressive lenders to get you approved this week only. If you've got a job bringing home 350 per week, you could be approved with as little as zero down, even if your credit is less than perfect. Plus, we'll take any trade-in, even if you owe thousands more than it's worth. Pre-owned 2014 Chevy Cruze, just $13,990. It's Credit Amnesty Week. You could be approved with as little as zero down at Team Chevrolet Buick GMC on Route 22 in beautiful Huntington, PA. Your used RV won't be worth more than it is right now. Yeah? Well, at the end of the season, we won't need them. Yeah? So, you know what we're doing? No, what? We'll take anything in trade. Oh, no! Ansley RV has a huge selection, from new towables to diesel pushers, but we need your used RV. Get top dollar now through July 31st only. We'll consider anything you want to trade. Oh! As long as it doesn't eat. Get more, pay less. Ansley RV. There's a sound a ball makes when it catches nothing but net. Everyone loves that sound, that precision. At GMC, we get that. Nothing separates the men from the boys like nothing but net. This is precision. This is GMC. Now current lessees switch to GMC and lease this 2015 GMC terrain for around $199 per month with just $709 due at signing. Swish. Motorcycle wrecks cause terrible injuries. If you're a victim, call me right now. 1-800-999-2626. I'm Larry Green of Burger and Green, the injury lawyers. I'll fight everyone to blame for every dollar the law allows. The medical benefits, the lost wages, whatever cash award the law says your injuries deserve. It all starts with a free call to me. 1-800-999-2626. There's no fee unless you get money. Harold Shepley and Associates is a proud sponsor of WTAJ News. Live from your news leader, John Clay, Carolyn Donaldson, and weather with Chief Meteorologist Joe Murgo. 
WTAJ News at 6 in high definition continues. Well, Chapel Peace, one of the stars of the reality TV show Breaking Amish, is now behind bars in our region in the Jefferson County Jail. An officer in Punxsutawney saw her in the passenger seat of a car. Well, the officer who pulled the car over on Saturday said that he knew there was a bench warrant out for her arrest. Peace is now facing drug charges after police say they found heroin, stamp bags, and prescription pills in her purse. She remains in the Jefferson County Jail. The Bedford County Courthouse is now home to a collection of World War II artifacts. Carol Stump and her brother, Gary Hoover, donated some of their father's personal belongings from World War II. You see here, including his Navy trunk, his uniform, a number of her other items there uh, that he had uh, while overseas. They're all going to be on display. They are now on display at the courthouse. Hoover says the new World War II exhibit is important for future generations. We appreciate the commissioners, the people involved in recognizing the significance of, of this and uh, want to thank the people of Bedford County for uh, considering it important enough to preserve this, not necessarily for my father, but for the future. Now the ribbon cutting ceremony today celebrated the donation there. It's uh, located the, uh, the artifacts there right near the Veterans Affairs Office on the first floor of the Bedford County Courthouse. The iconic Oscar Mayer Wienermobile made a stop in our area today. This 27 foot long hot dog car made its way to Somerset as part of the 12 month cross country tour. A Wienermobile spokesperson on board says that being a part of the tour is something she won't forget. I know this is going to be an experience I'll cherish forever. I'll remember the stories that people told me. I'll remember the Oscar Mayer fans that came up to us and the kids that we made smile. So that's something that you can't get in any other office job. Oscar Mayer fans who did come out to see the Wienermobile today also got a chance to take a virtual ride using goggles to see what it's like to ride in the passenger seat there. Still ahead, more counties in our area are joining the effort to stop the spread of the West Nile virus. We'll tell you where they're going to start spraying pesticides soon. Serious claims require a serious law firm. Put experience on your side. Super Polygrip seals out more food particles so your food won't get stuck. And you can enjoy every mm -hmm. single bite. Eat loud, live loud. Super Polygrip seals out more food. Super Polygrip holds your dentures tightly in place so you never have to hold back. Laugh loud, live loud. Super Polygrip. Get strong all day hold. Everybody talks, everybody talks. It started with the whisper. People just can't stop talking about this. I grew up as a city boy. My love for the outdoors actually came from being here in central Pennsylvania. And when I'm kayaking on the river, it is a great getaway. And uh, it allows you just uh, to find an inner peace. It allows me to actually interact with nature and, and take signs of what the weather's actually doing to the local wildlife around central Pennsylvania. Get to know Joe Murgo, Chief Meteorologist, WTAJ News. Clearfield Bank & Trust offers small businesses a checking account with no minimum balance requirements, no service charge, and free basic online banking services. Now, your weather authority in high definition with meteorologist Christy Shields. Well, it has been another steamy day today. If we take a look at high temperatures, 89 was the high in Dubois, 88 in Indiana. Now, as you head east, it was in the mid 80s, and that's thanks to an easterly wind we've been dealing with. 86 was the high temperature in State College and also in Huntingdon, and 87 degrees in Lock Haven. And currently, temperatures are not far from those highs we had today. 85 in Altoona, 86 in Bedford, and 87 degrees in Dubois. This hot heat is going to continue as 
as we head into the day tomorrow as well. And what's not helping is the dew points. As you take a look to the north, we're in the mid 50s with dew points, which is comfortable levels. But once you get those dew points into the 60s, that's when it starts to feel really sticky outside. And we're dealing with some sticky dew points into the south. Bedford 65 dew point currently 64 in Johnstown and 66 for your dew point in Somerset. But again, as you head to the north, we're into the 50s, 55 in Emporium and St. Mary. So as we head into that comfort index showing the next few days, we're going to deal with the heat and the humidity, making that air feel uncomfortable as you head outside. You're going to want to make sure your fans are in working order as well as the air conditioners or hit the pool throughout the next few days. So satellite and radar shows today. We had a ridge of high pressure building over the region, leaving us with a sun filled day. Just a few clouds across the south, but otherwise it has been clear throughout the entire area today. But if we take a look a little further south, there has been some pop up showers and thunderstorms. Some of these could creep into the southern counties, but we all should relatively stay dry as we head into the rest of the evening and into the overnight hours. So future track HD starting at 7 this evening. Just a few clouds across the south. Otherwise, a clear sky tonight as we head into those early morning hours on Wednesday. Another chance for a few patchy clouds across the south and some of us are going to be dealing with some fog as well developing into those early morning hours. It won't be as widespread as the fog last night, but tonight will be very similar than what we dealt with last night. So hazy and humid, balmy conditions and again patchy fog developing 66 for your low temperature tonight in Altoona and State College, 63 in Clearfield and 66 degrees for the low temperature in Bedford. Now into the day tomorrow, that ridge of high pressure is going to be moving to the east allowing a few more clouds, but we're going to stay dry for most of us across the south. Again, can't rule out that stray shower or pop up thunderstorm, but really most of the wet weather, if we get any, is going to come with this weak cold front that will push throughout through into our region throughout the day on Thursday, bringing in some clouds and again a pop up shower, a thunderstorm ahead of this front. Temperatures are going to soar behind it. More comfortable air moves in and another round of high pressure builds as we head into Thursday evening and into Thursday night. So if you're headed to the Bedford County Fair either tonight or tomorrow, it's going to be staying dry. We're going to have a mix of clouds and sunshine tomorrow could hit that 90 degree mark. So it's going to be a hazy, hot and humid day. So if you do head out to the fair, make sure to wear that light colored clothing and stay hydrated throughout the afternoon as well and into the evening because we're going to be dealing with hazy sunshine tomorrow and other parts of the region. Some of us flirting with that 90 degree mark tomorrow could actually be the hottest day we've had so far this summer. So hot and humid, hazy sun, 90 for Indiana, Altoona, Bedford, 91 for Huntington and Lock Haven as you head to the north into the mid to upper 80s. 88 in Dubois and Emporium and to the south 86 degrees for that high temperature in Johnstown. Taking a look at our seven day forecast tomorrow hot 90 degrees. Thursday could also come close 88 with some scattered showers and thunderstorms. After that moves out, we're going to be dealing with sunshine into the weekend 86 with a mostly sunny sky on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. A few more clouds and on Friday temperatures continue in the mid 80s and our next chance of rain doesn't come until early next week. John and Carolyn back to you. Thanks, Christy. Blair and Cambria counties are the latest to join in the effort to control the spread of West Nile virus. Certain types of mosquitoes carry the West Nile virus, which can cause an infection that can result in the inflammation of the brain in humans. That virus has been detected this year in 24 Pennsylvania counties, including Blair, Cambria and Clinton counties. And today, the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection announcing the first positive test for West Nile virus in a bird. Officials didn't say where that dead bird carrying the disease was found. A township in Bedford County is still under a severe water restriction tonight. The Water Authority wants to remind people the water restriction means no filling of swimming pools, washing cars, or watering lawns. Some local businesses have to shut down water use altogether. Service could be interrupted during the hours of 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Crews are still looking to locate that leak uh, in or after the water tank. Still ahead, suspensions will headline week one of the NFL season, and the spikes are back in the playoff hunt. Those stories and more coming up in sports.
Here's a look at tonight's lineup on WTAJ starting at 8. Brought to you by Wolf Furniture. We make being green easy. Join WTAJ's Central PA Green for a free shredding event. On July 29th, bring your confidential residential documents to Thomas Chevrolet Subaru of Bedford on Business Route 220 in Bedford and let the Bergmeyer shredding professionals do the rest. Visit wearecentralpa.com for complete details. Be green this summer with WTAJ's Central PA Green free shredding event at Thomas Chevrolet Subaru of Bedford. WTAJ, your news leader. Here's Alan Hall, Joel Comfort Toyota, State College. You know, it's gratifying to watch a family drive away happy in their new Joel Comfort Toyota. Locally owned Joel Comfort Toyota, State College, a three-generation Comfort family operation. Is owning a car like this only a dream? Let Quickfill make your dream come true. Enter the 2015 Quickfill Driving America Sweepstakes to win this car or one of nine other grand prizes. Stop by your local Quickfill store to get a sweepstakes game card and enter online at quickfill.com. Enter at a summer event near you to increase your chance of winning. The Quickfill Driving America Sweepstakes. Real prizes, real winners. Bring your family to the Bedford County Fair July 26th through August 1st. Sunday, Walmart Distribution Center and Walmart Transportation present the Truck and Tractor Pull. Monday, UPMC Bedford Memorial and Boy Scouts of Bedford County bring you Family Day. Tuesday is Senior Day thanks to the Pennsylvania Lottery. Don't miss the six-cylinder and pickup truck demo derby thanks to Altoona First Savings Bank and SAC Inc. and Interchange Parts. The Bedford Fair runs July 26th through August 1st. Here's Corey Confer for Joel Confer Toyota State College. We're the Joel Confer family. We're local. We've been a Toyota dealership for 38 years. Joel Confer Toyota State College, a three-generation Confer family operation. Weather anytime on WeAreCentralPA.com, sponsored by Steve Seltzer Power Sports. The news and weather you need is at your fingertips all the time. Online at WeAreCentralPA.com or the WeAreCentralPA.com app. Stay connected with your news leader and your weather authority only on WeAreCentralPA.com. Handcrafted solid wood furniture. Find it at Wolf's. Now, WTAJ Sports with Alex Colley. If you're a Steeler fan, then you've had a pretty nice afternoon. The Black and Gold will get their leading rusher, Le'Veon Bell, back a game earlier than originally thought, as his suspension has been reduced from three games to two. Pittsburgh's week one opponent, New England Patriots, were on the other side of that coin as Tom Brady's four-game suspension was upheld. But the effects of the flake gate will be felt heading into the new season by all teams. The National Football League will be randomly checking game balls throughout the year. Teams will have to supply 12 game balls as well as 12 backups prior to each game. The officiating crew will be in charge of inspecting the footballs at random times. There will be checks during halftime. Steelers say it won't be a big deal for them and that at this point in the season, they're still just focused on getting their players ready for the upcoming season. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah. It really doesn't. I, I honestly, and I, I don't know what our PSI is. I just know if a ball feels flat or feels too inflated. But as long as ours are inside the regulation, I'm fine with it. Because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about playing the game and playing the game in pads. And um, it's off to a good start out here in terms of some of the things what we we've been able to do. But um, things like that really don't get measured until you until you play the game. The Steelers will strap on the pads for the first time during training camp tomorrow. We've already heard plenty from the black and gold just days into training camp. If you missed any of it, you can find it at wearecentralpa.com. Meanwhile, the Spikes return to State College as they open a six-game homestand. They won three games in a row and are right back in the middle of the playoff hunt. Jacob Kalker shows us one of the roots of the recent run of success. You can call it plate discipline or perhaps patience. Either way, the State College Spikes have struck out this year fewer than any other team in the New York Penn League. Everybody's buying into it. It is the idea of hitting the ball to the middle of the field, especially with runners in scoring position. The approach has allowed the Spikes to work with whatever the pitcher throws, helping extend the inning and slowly but surely plating runs. 
you know, we're not taking strike one, taking strike two, and then we're in a hole two. So it's working the time. So, you know, we just got to keep buying in. You know, work good counts, have great ABs. I mean, it's not something you focus on, oh, I don't want to strike out here because you don't want that in the back of your mind. It's just our mindset is have good AB after good AB, and I think that's what has really helped that. Tonight marks the first of three games against Vermont. It's the only time all year that the Spikes will play the Lake Monsters. At Medler Field in State College, Jacob Kauker, WTAJ Sports. Thank you, Jacob. The Curve are hoping to get back in the win streak of their own as they took their first step towards doing just that following their 3-2 win over Richmond. They can make it back-to-back -back this evening at 7.05, but at this point in the season, the Curve are strangers to few in the Eastern League. The Curve improved their season mark to 4-8 and eight against the Flying Squirrels, but Tom Prince says that the early matchups happen so often that these two teams know each other so well, so their pitchers have to be more sure about what they're throwing. I mean, like I said, I've never met a baseball player tried tried to do some things. They're putting a little pressure on themselves maybe and stuff like that. It's getting later in the year. Uh, people are battling. We've seen that team. They know us. We know them. So they know what's coming, and they kind of lay off some things. Now, Tuna sent Stephen Brault to the hill with a one-game edge over the Flying Squirrels. We'll have highlights tonight at 11. And we'll be right back with a final check of weather. Lucky had dreams and ambitions of becoming the next great mascot. But Lucky didn't make the cut until Lucky found his true calling. 0% financing for up to 66 months on all 2015 Fortes and 2015 Optimus, plus $4,332 off the new 2016 Sorento. Shop for your next Kia at LionCountryKia.com. All the information you need to know is in one easy-to-navigate location. Check out LionCountryKia.com, then stop out and see us for your next Kia. You dreamt of a condo with a view. But then I showed you a suburb school, and the view of your daughter's future made a house look really cool. Let a REMAX agent guide you. REMAX, dream with your eyes open. There are over 60 possible causes of intimate itch, but only one brand trusted by more women to relieve it. Vagisil Maximum Strength Cream is the strongest medicine you can buy to relieve itch fast. No wonder more women trust it. Vagisil, the experts in intimate health. Hey all, Corey and Gene Stalker from Stalker Chevrolet. We want you to have a great, great summer. And right now we've got three great, great deals for you to choose from. So check these deals out. Pick your deal. Between now and July 31st, for qualified buyers, you can get 0% financing on some of our most popular new Chevrolet cars and trucks. Or if you'd prefer, you could get a $1,000 bonus purchase cash. Or if you're leasing your vehicle, you could qualify for $500 lease cash. So hurry on in to Stalker Chevrolet today or check us out at StalkerChevrolet.com. WTAJ News and High Definition continues. Okay, so we're going to have some sunshine and heat headed our way tomorrow. We That's could flirt with the 90 degree mark, oh which boy. means the hottest mm, day like so far this year. 90 degree mark. Yes, and then we're going to be in the mid 80s throughout the next seven days. Only if you have air rain. conditioning, John, which we're fortunate to have. There are people. We're there. having fun indoors. Yes, we are. Inside, that's the we'll place to be. We'll see you back be. here at 11. I get this too.